for two minutes. I thank my colleague for yielding, and thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to call attention to an important safety provision in the Senate passed Drive Act being considered this week. I am pleased the House is working in a bipartisan manner to fix our nation's critical highway infrastructure needs, and I want to bring attention to a key provision which is included in the Drive Act that passed the Senate earlier this year. In 2004, two young sisters, Rachel and Jacqueline Houck, were killed just outside my district when their rented Chrysler PT Cruiser caught fire and crashed due to a defective steering component. The vehicle was not grounded or fixed before it was rented to the Houck sisters, despite having a safety recall no issued, a notice issued a month before the tragic accident. While today federal law prohibits car dealers from selling new cars subject to a recall, there is no similar law prohibiting rental car companies from renting out vehicles under safety recall. And that's why I'm so pleased the Senate included the text of my bill, H.R. 2198, the Rachel and Jacqueline Houck Safe Rental Car Act, into the Drive Act. This legislation is nothing more than a common sense fix. It modifies existing law to prohibit rental car companies from renting a vehicle under recall until it has been fixed. Pure and simple, consumers must be protected from renting cars that are subject to a safety recall. This key provision does not only have bipartisan support in the House, but it's also supported by the rental car industry, consumer safety groups, the National Highway Safety Traffic Administration, Safe, uh, Traffic Safety Administration, General Motors, and Honda. Furthermore, a change.org petition calling for passage of this bill was started by Rachel and Jacqueline's mother, Callie Houck. It has received signatures from over 180,000 consumers nationwide. I'm disappointed that there may be attempts to strike this critical vehicle safety language highway bill, and I believe such actions are misguided and would seriously undermine the tireless effort by Callie Houck and the families who have lost loved ones due to this clear defect in our safety laws. Therefore, as the House debates the highway bill this week, I urge my colleagues to oppose any amendments to weaken or undermine this important bipartisan language. Let us honor the lives of Rachel and Jacqueline Houck by working together to enact a simple yet meaningful solution that will surely save lives in the Time future. The gentlewoman has expired. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized.